but it does have a low to very low habitat impact. I think the main issue is ghost fishing and lost nets. Commercial rod and line, um, that's actually in, in around Dawson and Hampshire, that's the biggest method of commercially catching grass. Um, not this year, but for the previous few years, the port and race out of Weymouth, or Weymouth as a port, has landed 50 to 55 tons of bass caught commercially by Rob and Line, worth half a million pounds a year. Most of it caught out of the port and race. And for some reason, this year, bass weren't there. I wonder why. Again, it's
and they have a very high <coughs> bycatch of them in the sized bass. As I say, they're trawling, I think, near bass nursery areas. So in the bass, that's 30 centimetres or so start coming out of those nursery areas and exploring the big wide world. By 45 to 50 centimetres, they're off joining the adult population. But that size range and age range is what those trawlers are targeting. That's why you get these kind of discard rates. Sea fast, as I said, they're given an agency. They've uh, produced some work for the Bass Angler Sport Fishing Society that shows discard rates of up to 63%. The Bristol Channel um, work showed an average discard rate. It actually refers to another study because they haven't done any work themselves on the discard. Sorry about the picture of me. Um, you really can't tell, you definitely can't tell from here, that that poor little bass is barely 36 centimetres. Obviously, I'm holding against the camera to exaggerate how big it is, how, how small it is. Um, but I haven't got big hands, and you can see the size of it compared to my hand. So, that's Scottish trawlers um, believed to be mostly 
had a look at the French data for the landings of Basque, commercial landings of Basque by the French fleet, caught in the whole of the Western Channel and Western approaches. So that's around the Bay of Biscay, uh, around Brittany, um, so <coughs> rest, and all along the coast of Brittany and Normandy. Right, after all that commercialism, I need to take a break. Some of you, some of you may recognise that profile, many may not. Um, I think this guy's a living legend. He's a fabulous fisherman, fantastic author, um, lives in Dorset. Um, better known for some of his other fishing exploits. But he loves to go bass fishing. Thank you. 
less harmful to the environment, catch and release is being practiced more widely. Um, it has huge opportunities, I think, to grow economically. Um, it benefits the tourism trade and coastal economies, you know, as well as having Weymouth has the 